what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The tables has turned. A black cop feared for his life due to a thug with a knife. So he shot twice, and the outcome was not nice. This happened back on October 25th, 2019, 6 a.m. at the La Quinta Inn in Bossier City, Louisiana. Officer Patrick Edmonds Jr. was called to the scene for a disturbance. When he gets there, he finds Shannon Rupert, 45 years old, waving a knife. She's in the lobby and she's angry. Tells him, you're gonna have to kill me. You're gonna have to shoot me, nigger. Clowning him, you got to shoot me. You're not gonna enslave me. Kept calling him the N-word, just going in on him. Finally, she decided she had had enough talking. So she came around at him from around the counter and, and he said, hey, stop, you know, I'll, I'll shoot you, I will kill you. Well, come on, nigga. Pop, pop, right in the upper torso. Two shots, and she's gone. Send her to the morgue. So, what happened? Nothing. They let him make it. No charges. The DA says that it was justifiable homicide. The officer had given a number of commands to warn Oh, Shannon, that, hey, man, this is a serious situation. Shannon ignored those warnings. Now Shannon is dead. It happened just like that, fam. Shannon's cousin said, what I want to know is, why did they have to kill her? Why didn't they use less lethal force like rubber bullets or a stun gun? That's funny because we ask those questions all the time. Why do they have to kill him? Why not use a stun gun? Why not use rubber bullets? That is because the police are not in the business of preserving life unless it's their life. Especially when it comes to black folks. Because they got a way of preserving life actually when it come to white folks, but this cop didn't. Well, I guess he did. He tried, he warned her. He gave her a warning, many warnings. Now some of y'all are gonna try to make this thing out of a black and white thing, but no, let's stick to the script. Let's stick to the script like we always do. The ones out there who always are cop apologists and saying he should have just followed the commands and going out there trying to find some dirt on the person. Let's do that. Stick to the script. Go out there and do your research to see if you can dig up her criminal record. I'm sure she has one. Stick to the script. Stick to the Blue Lives Matter. Stick to the officers are under, officers are under a lot of stress, a lot of strain, and they only have 0.2 seconds or 0.1 second to react or it's life or death. Give me some of that. Give me some of that old home cooking. Come on with it. Stay consistent now. Don't, 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 don't abandon me now. I need you to stay consistent. What my cop apologies? All my cop apologies. Was it a good kill? I need to know. Was it a good shot? Some of y'all are hypocrites. You're not gonna even comment. So I want to look at you right in your eyes and let you know you ain't shit. Tell you straight up, because I know what you're about. It's always black and white with you. 
the cop did his best to de-escalate. That's what I would at least hope for from any officer. Try to de-escalate the situation. You know, he tried his best to de-escalate. He even warned her. He even told her, I will kill you. <sighs> this is one of those situations, I think, when white pride goes wrong. You know? Yeah. Because she was feeling herself. She was feeling herself. Well, one thing about it, she was right about one thing. She told him that he would have to kill her. And he did. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?